inside this envelope are the secrets of a total stranger. We're gonna open it and let all the secrets out. One of the weirdest things you can buy off the internet is a stranger's diary. You can go on eBay and buy someone's diary. Usually these are diaries of people who have passed away. I bought a stranger's diary off eBay and I have it right here in this envelope. Let's check it out. It's a little one. This diary is from 1981. I'm very excited to get a diary from the 80s. Typically when you write a diary, you don't think anyone else will ever read it. But if you die, someone could read it. Obviously the things people write in a diary can be very personal, very private, very raw. What will we find in this diary? Will there be drama? Will there be romance? Will there be a murder? Anything could be in here. Let's time travel back to 1981 and invade the privacy of a total stranger. Really quickly, if I can get this ping pong ball into that cup, I think you should subscribe to my channel. It does smell a little bit musty. The first entry actually starts in 1980. Monday, December 29th, 1980. Damn, foggy. I do find that a lot of people comment on the weather in their diary. I kept a diary for most of my life and I've never once commented on the weather, I don't think. I get that the weather controls all of our lives. Mother nature, she is a force to be reckoned with, but weather is like the cliche thing you bring up in small talk with people you don't know very well because you have nothing to talk about. Wednesday, December 31st, 1980. Cold. Dog misses everybody. There's a dog that misses everybody. Who's everybody? Whose dog is this? Thursday, January 1st, 1981. 20 degrees, snow flurries, odds and ends, dog quiet, good. Is this person dog sitting? Whose dog is this? Friday, January 2nd, 1981, snow covered ground, winter wonderland. Saturday, January 3rd, 1981, cold, cold, cold. 10 degrees, odds and ends. Thursday, January 8th, 1981, cold, clear, windy, Joe went to airport, dog home, missed her, cold. It sounds like this person was dog sitting and now dog is back home and they missed the dog. Friday, January 9th, 1981, cold, car wouldn't start. Sunday, January 11th, 1981, Edward left for college, five degrees, church, etc. Monday, January 12th, 1981, cold, clear, hot water out, shocked, etc. Here's what we know so far about this person. They live someplace where it's cold and snowy during the winter. That doesn't rule a lot out. They might be a parent because they talked about somebody going to college, but they could have been talking about anyone. I'm getting the impression that a woman is writing this. Thursday, January 15th, 1981, cold, snow flurries. Friday, January 16th, 1981, snow flurries, cold, not too cold. Snowed all day, temperature warm, melted. They're really tracking the snow's every move in this diary. Saturday, January 17th, 1981, a lovely cold day, cloudy, damp day, odds and ends, etc. This person writes odds and ends a lot. I assume that means little things they did around the house or something. Also, we know there's somebody named Joe. Monday, January 19th, 1981, 40 degrees, nice day. Thursday, January 22nd, 1981, cloudy, mild, shopping, jacket, etc. for Joe. I just wish this person's handwriting was easier to read. If you handwrite a diary, it would help me out so much if you would just write as clearly and cleanly as possible. I am struggling. I guess if you want to prevent people from knowing your secrets, write all sloppy and then mission accomplished. Sunday, January 25th, 1981. A lovely day. A lovely day. I feel like this person appreciates the weather. Tuesday, January 27th, 1981. Watch TV all day, 40 degrees. Wednesday, January 28th, 1981. Hair set, mild, frosty. Friday, January 30th, 1981. A nice cool day. I really like that this person can appreciate when the weather is cold. I feel like we live in a culture that just worships the sun and if it's not a bright sunny sun blasting right in your face kind of day then people can't appreciate it. I personally like it when it's I hate to say sweater weather but yeah I'm one of those people who like sit when it's like 50 degrees and if it gets hot and sunny I feel like the sun is shriveling me into a raisin of death. Saturday, January 31st, 1981, a lovely clear cold day, 
February 1st, 1981, another lovely cold day. Wednesday, February 11th, 1981, nice rain all day, baby sick. I like that this person says nice rain all day. They can appreciate the rain. Some people freak out when it rains. And she says there's a baby that's sick. Either this person has a baby or they take care of a baby. It's not clear. Thursday, February 12th, 1981, a lovely cold day, wind cold, 24 degrees, shocked etc. Tired. Sunday, February 15th, 1981. Another nice day. Tuesday, February 17th, 1981. Warm, damp, a drizzly night. Hair colored. We do know that this person gets their hair done pretty regularly. Much more often than I do. Friday, February 20th, 1981. Rain all night and day. Great. Great. Monday, February 23rd, 1981. Rain all day. Great. They keep saying great every time it rains. Maybe they really needed the rain or this person just loves rain. Wednesday, February 25th, hair set, wind, cold, cloudy, baby not good, tired. Saturday, March 14th, 1981, cold, windy, terrible, washed duvet, some odds and ends. Sunday, March 15th, 1981, a lovely cool day, sore throat. So this is just a random week in March and they write lovely day almost every day. And I assume they're talking about the weather, but this is a really upbeat person. I almost never never have the thought, lovely day. I'm very impressed by this person's sunny outlook. If somebody came up to me and was like, lovely day, I'd just be like, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Saturday, May 9th, 1981, a great day. Didn't feel good. You didn't feel good, but you still had a great day? Or is the great day just referring to the weather, but you felt like crap? This person is practicing gratitude journaling before it was trendy. Even when they don't feel well, they still see the good. I am struggling so hard to relate to this person. They just keep writing, great day, great day, great day, great day. Every day is a great day and I'm happy for them. But a little weirded out, honestly. Every day is a great day. Do you feel like most days are good? I feel like most days are fine. And every once in a while there's a good day and every once in a while there's a bad day and then there'll be a string of bad days. I guess it is all about your attitude and this person seems to have an amazing attitude. I almost feel like this person is a Disney princess. They just wake up every morning, wow, another lovely day, and then mice put on their pants or whatever. <laughs> another nice day, nice day. Every day is a nice day. Okay, I spoke too soon. Here's a weird entry. It says, still upset with multiple exclamation points and an underline and I don't know what that's about. Perhaps not everything is sunshine and rainbows. I mean how could it be? Nobody's life is all sunshine and rainbows but this person's life seems like it's at least 80% sunshine and rainbows based on this diary. It's all about having a positive attitude blah blah blah. Thursday, April 2nd, 1981, tired, very windy, paid bills, etc. Monday, April 6th, 1981, a lovely day, very windy, cold wind, shocked, etc. Joe cut finger. It was a lovely day until Joe cut his finger. I feel like it must have been a pretty bad cut if they felt the need to write it in their diary. Joe, what were you doing? How did you cut your finger? I have a lot of questions. Is your finger okay? What happened? Joe went to the hospital to have his finger looked at. But what did they say? Is his finger okay? I need to know more about Joe's finger. You can't just leave us hanging about Joe's finger. I feel like we're not gonna get any resolution on Joe's finger. We're just gonna gloss over Joe's finger. Monday, April 13th, 1981. Very windy, cold. Joe didn't feel good. And then the next day, Joe went back to the hospital. Wednesday, April 15th, 1981. Joe hospital for test. What test? Is it about his finger or something else? Saturday, April 18th, 1981. Joe called from hospital. What did he say? Is Joe hospitalized? What is happening? Monday, April 20th, 1981. Cloudy. Joe home from hospital. Did he cut his finger so bad he had to go to the hospital and stay there for like a week? I hope Joe's okay. His diary is too tiny. I need more finger details. Thursday, May 7th, 1981. Windy, cool morning. Very tired. 
Monday, May 11th, 1981, tired. Thursday, May 14th, 1981, fair day, washed, etc. Tired. Friday, May 15th, 1981, terrible day, rained hard later. This is surprising that they wrote terrible day. Usually they write lovely day. That's the rich day. <sighs> That's the rich day. <sighs> That's the rich tapestry of life. Saturday, May 16th, 1981. Cloudy went to New York. Great day. Ding, 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 ding. This is a geographic clue. Went to New York. This person might live in New Jersey or Connecticut. You would say something about the airport maybe if you were flying to New York. This suggests you're whooping on in there in a car or a train. Monday, May 18th, 1981. Went to shore. A great day. Lovely. I'm really getting some New Jersey vibes from this because they said went to shore. Every place else you're like, I'm going to the beach. And New Jersey, for whatever reason, they call it the shore. Tuesday, May 19th, 1981. Another good day. Clean. Joe did odds and ends. I am so glad that Joe is able to do odds and ends after what sounds like a terrible finger injury. Thursday, June 11th, 1981. A lovely clear day. Dentist. Here is something very 80s. Wednesday, June 24th, 1981. Perm. These pages are stuck together. Oops, okay. Some sort of residue from the past. Monday, July 13th, 1981. Humid, terrible. Arrived home from shore. Slept good. Again, we have another super New Jersey entry. Thursday, September 3rd, 1981. Left for shore. Ate at diner. If you don't know, New Jersey is known for its diners. Tuesday, September 15th, 1981. Rained all day. Damn, made casserole. Here's the very last entry. Sunday, January 3rd, 1982. Family came. Nice day. Out to eat. Really surprised. Of course, the very last entry says it was a nice day. Of course it was. Not a ton of information in this diary. I still feel like I got a sense of this person. The most drama we got here was Joe's finger. I'm impressed with this person. Most days were either nice, lovely, or great. I guess this is a lesson on having a positive outlook. They were tired, bad things happened, Joe cut his finger, but still, if you keep a positive attitude, you'll have a good day most days, I guess is the lesson, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. Do check out my other videos. I have many other Strangers Diary videos and lots of other stuff. That sucked.